hit that like button just like Tyson. What's that word, family? Hey, man, check this out. Relationship guru Steve Harvey has come under fire for some statements that he made a couple of years ago. Now, check this out, and I'll be back with more commentary. Men, I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. You, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, yeah, I'm, we're friends. No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor. And trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're most guys. And you think this way? 99.9% uh, .9 of us think that way. 99.9% .9 of men think that way, right? But no, not all men, according to Charlemagne the God. DJ Envy, and Angela Yee. Now let's check out some of what they had to say, and I'll be back. Do you agree with Steve Harvey? Um, no. I don't agree with Steve Harvey. I have women friends and male friends, but I do believe there are some men out there that will befriend a woman because, you know, they want to get close. All right, let's stop it right there. He said he do believe. He do believe. Come on, man. It's a known fact. I don't feel like the Breakfast Club is truthful on a lot of situations. Just like you just heard DJ Envy say, there's some man out here, maybe. No, the actual fact is Steve Harvey's right. Now, why is he right about other situations, but he's wrong about this one? And if he said, oh, no, I got a million female friends, he would be right. But since he's saying the truth, See, that's the thing about the Breakfast Club. A lot of times, they don't go by the truth, man. They just they just pander to women like a lot of people do. That's why we got brothers like Kevin Samuels, O'Shea Duke Jackson, and others like myself that comes out with the truth, and we tell y'all how men feel. You know, when we tell y'all how men feel, don't nobody take that serious. Nobody takes that serious. It's, it's all about the woman. It's all about the woman's truth. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's dig in a little bit deeper, and I'll be back. Most impossibly possibly have a chance with it. So I do think that there are men like that, but I have a, I have a bunch of women friends that, that give me advice and that I talk to about everything, whether it's business-related, relationship-related, spiritually-related, whatever it may be. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not... He talks to women friends about relationships. Women friends. Let me tell you something. What type of woman allows her man to talk relationships with other women. It don't make sense. It's, it's not adding up. Now, I see what's going on. They're pandering to the women because that just don't make sense. I talk to women about opportunities. What about men? I guess you don't talk to men about opportunities, right? That's what you're saying? Let's keep going. Looking at them like that, they are my sisters. I call them my sisters. And there is no uh, attractiveness towards them. It's just, those are my sisters. Yeah, I love uh, Uncle Steve, but I wholeheartedly disagree. You know, my whole... Charlemagne the God, the self-proclaimed serial cheater, but he don't believe that. All right, let's keep going. Whole life, I've had more female friends than male friends. You know, literally my whole life, my father put it in my head when I was young. Why you want to be around a bunch of hard legs all the time? So, you know, hanging around a bunch of men never appealed to me. You know, and my dad would always tell me, you ain't going to do nothing but get in trouble when you hang around a bunch of dudes. And he was right. He was right. Right, Charlemagne. Because if you do your research on Charlemagne the God, he brings up a story where his father and him were arrested. And I think his father had cocaine on him. Cocaine. So he's right. Men will get you in trouble. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep going. So I've always been around women and I have women in my life who are literally like my sisters. I've spent the night at their houses. They OK. You got women in your life that are like your sisters. You spent the night at their house and all that type of stuff. Right. But you call yourself a serial cheater back in the day. So what's going on? Do your woman, she allows you to be around other women when you cheated on her before? Let's continue with the story. Spent the night at mine, just us, and I've never thought about anything other than this is... All right, right there. 
So you can have a female friend. How much sense does this make? How much sense does this make? A self-proclaimed serial cheater have female friends spend the night at his house, just them two? Wow. That's that's odd. That's odd, bro. Like that's really odd. You got women half naked land in your house. You are a self-proclaimed serial cheater. Well, you used to be because you also said something else that just don't make no sense. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Black boys cheat. Black men don't cheat. Come on, man. Black men cheat. Black boys cheat. Black women cheat at the same rate as black men. Only a couple of percentage points off, according to Kevin Samuels. And I believe Kevin Samuels because he's not pandering to women. Unlike these guys, they're pandering to women. Now, let's go. My family, you know what I mean? From from Debbie Deb to Kendra G to Alicia Renee to Amanda Seals, Angela Rye, Dolly Bishop, Athlete James, just to name a few. The, the late, great Jazz Waters, Tiffany Haddis. These are my sisters. I love them. I don't think about them in that way at all. Not now, Tiffany Haddish, I can see why you wouldn't want to fuck her because she's nuts. But Kendra G, she laid on your couch. She laid in your bed. Oh, man, she's fine. Let's keep going. Even a little bit. Now, I ain't spending the night at no woman's house. Now, that's you crazy. When we, was on, when we was on the come up, Oh, when, we when, Deb, come up, when yeah. Deb, when Deb, when we was on the come up, like, dang, I don't even know, what, 13, 14 years Evan ago? Evan been in a relationship since he was a teenager, I so I don't tell. think he's ever yeah, spending I, the night. Yeah, I'm not spending the night. But even night. then, like, because all of these women are, are, are great friends with my wife, closer to my wife than, than me and a lot of kids. These women are closer to your wife than with you, but they're your friends. You know what a friend is? A friend is somebody you can call at two in the morning and say, hey, man, I'm drunk. I'm at the club. You know what I'm saying? Can you come get me? Because there's a couple of officers out here, and they look like they might be trying to pull me over. Or could you come drive my car? You know what I'm saying? Or, hey, man, I just caught a flat tire. I need some help. It's two in the morning. You're my friend. That's what friends do. So you telling me that your wife is laying in the bed asleep. And you're saying, hey, I got to go pick up Kendra G, man. She just got a flat tire. She got nobody else to call. But let's just keep going. Remember that time we was in the Bahamas? When, when was that? I don't know, nine, ten years ago? And, and Kendra had gotten to a little situation in the club. Kendra stayed with me that night in the hotel room. <laughs> like, Okay, there we go right there. Nine, ten years ago. That's when Charlemagne says that he was cheating on his wife ten years ago. He said he was really active and cheating on his wife ten years ago. You got Kendra G laying drunk in the Bahamas in your hotel room. I bet his wife probably just now hearing this story or she heard, um, she may have heard it before, but you know, it, 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 it don't sound right to me. You got a fine-ass woman. You're in the Bahamas, in a hotel room, laying in your room, and you don't try to have sex. Okay. Okay. I believe anything. I must got boo-boo the fool written across my head. Let's go. That's, that's, that, that, that's my family. Mm -hmm. I don't I even, I have never even thought about it. So I highly, highly disagree with, uh, with, with, yeah, with I Steve. I disagree with him as well. And, you know, the way he mm -hmm. said slip into the crack, you got to watch your homeboys nowadays, too. You say, no, but that's, that's you got to watch your homeboys. You ain't got to watch the women. You, you got to watch your homeboys. You know, which makes sense. You got to watch everybody. I bet your wife is watching your friends. You know what happened to me? One time this female said uh, she didn't know she was talking to my woman. And she was like, uh, that guy right there, he was looking at me. Like, that guy right there. She was like, who, my boyfriend? She was like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, he was just looking. But at the same time, she put herself on my girlfriend's radar by even just mentioning me. Now, women don't trust women. Now, my girl smiled at her and said, oh, girl, that's my guy. But what she told me was something different. Like, what you got going on with that bitch? Now she's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Now she's a bitch. But let's just keep going. True. I mean, there are also a lot of dudes that what? would be close. There are dudes that will get close with your, your <laughs> no, lawyer. No, Charlemagne is talking whoa, about whoa. something else. I was just setting in the yuppie. I had one guy to try me before. That's really? why he shaves yes. back there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, what you say? <laughs> That's why he shaves back there. That's right. No, I don't. Well, my thought on this is that I have a lot of male friends, and in the business that we're in, I find myself a lot of times being, unfortunately, the only woman in the room, and it's been that way for forever now. So I've definitely always had a lot of guy friends. I don't think I could do what I do and not have 
male friends. Word and up. so my boyfriend definitely trusts me. He's never even questioned me about anything because they all know him. He knows them. And I think it's just a matter of being open and honest about who people are. But there's people I've been friends with since I was like in kindergarten. Your boyfriend knows them. And what does that mean, Angelique? Just because you know somebody, that means that they, they would uh, set boundaries. Let's just keep it real. The people you know, know the weaknesses that's going on in your relationship. And if they want your woman or they want your man, they know the weaknesses. So let's just keep it real. All of this is a crock of bull. You know what I'm saying? All of this. Now, Steve Harvey, if he said, like I said, if Steve Harvey would have said, I have a million female friends, it would have been okay. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep on listening to Angela Yee because she says something very interesting right about now. Who I still talk to until this day. And I always am a little wary of men who say they can't be friends with females because that means they only look at women as objects of, of people that they would be attracted to and they can't build those type of friendships. And All right, let's, let's, let's tear that apart a little bit. She's a little wary of men who don't have female friends. We've been trained not to have female friends. Females have been trained not to have male friends. I got a woman right now that will not let me, uh, like I said, I can't call a woman and talk about my relationship and, you know, this and that. And Come on, man. That, it don't make sense, Angela Yee. I can understand it's coming from you, though, but it just don't make sense. Make it make some sense, goddamn. That makes me cautious. If That's you don't real. have any female friends, I'm going to think there's something wrong with you and that you don't know how to look at a woman as something other than somebody you would sleep with. But that's all. That makes her cautious. A man not having female friends. That's because he only got one woman in his life. She didn't mention that part. The one woman in your life will not allow you to have female friends. I mean, you can have... See, what they getting confused is they getting friends confused with coworkers. Like I said a little while ago, a friend is somebody that can call you in the middle of the night and have you come pick them up from the airport. You know what I'm saying? An associate is just somebody you work with. See, now they got those two things twisted. Now, if I, I got a, if it's like that, I got a thousand female friends then. They all work at my job. It's one that works at the store. She's a friend. You know what I'm saying? It's the, the neighbor. You know what I'm saying? But it's a limit to the friendship. It's an only high and by limit. Or I can talk to you about, oh, they're not picking the garbage up this week. Or I can talk to you about work-related incidents. But you having my phone number, that's a friend. Not being on Facebook. Not being on Twitter. But having my phone number, calling me. You know, these guys right here, the propaganda that they push, I just don't understand it. It's not natural for men to befriend females. It's not natural. It's a little bit, um, it's a tricky situation because everybody got a female friend or associates. But see, they, they, they getting it twisted with friend and associates because a friend is somebody that you're really close to. And she finds it odd, a, a, a warning sign, if a man don't have any female friends. Come on. Look at his Facebook. He has plenty of female friends. I got at least 2,000 female friends on my Facebook. They are Facebook friends, but they can't just call me out the blue 2, 3 in the morning and say, hey, man, why don't you come over here? It's a, it's a bat in my house. That's what you do for a friend. Uh, why don't you come pick me up, man? I'm Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm intoxicated. It's a lot of police out here. I, I don't feel comfortable with driving. That's a friend. Or can you loan me some money? That's a friend. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to people that you work with, they're just associates. And see, they trying to twist it too. But I, I'm not surprised that these two butt buddies, you know, they, they have female friends they can confide in. I got female friends I can confide in too. They call my sisters and my cousins. You know what I'm saying? But they're not the chicks at work that I work with. They're not the... the the, the lady at the store don't know my relationship business or what I plan on doing for my girl. But let's just keep listening because it's, it's getting kind of crazy. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. I got his female friends. I got a bunch of women that I consider sisters and I got a bunch of women that I consider nieces and I love my family mm -hmm. and I don't look at them in any other way other than that. 
Yes, and says once again the serial cheater who had to go into therapy for cheating on his wife. This is this guy. It's just so hypocritical. How could you? One day, I was a serial cheater. I had to learn black men don't cheat. And the next day, you got millions of female friends. Like I said earlier, they're getting confused a friend and an associate. An associate is somebody that you can talk to about business and different things and that type of nature. A friend is somebody you go out with, you can have lunch with. Imagine how Charlemagne the God's wife would feel if some pictures came out with him having lunch with a female friend. You know, come on, man, don't tell these men this so that women, because this, this is a women thing. This is all about women. Women want to have male friends. Women want to have male friends. Men don't need female friends at all. But women want to have male friends. But let's just keep going. Anything, your wife should be more concerned about the guys you hang out with. Mm -hmm. See, see, they turned it around on the guys. If anything, your wife should be more concerned about the guys you're hanging around with. Turn it around on the guys. But he's sleeping with females in a hotel room in the Bahamas. It just don't make sense. Make it add up, Angela Yee. This show promotes a lot of weirdness. It promotes a lot of weird things, man. Everybody and their mama know, ain't no way in hell a man can be a friend to a woman that he don't even know. She's just a woman. Everybody know that. Let's go on. You know what's so funny? The other day I did say something to my wife, and she said, nigga, I ain't envy. What, what was it? I told her I had texted you. I told you, what was she saying? What did you say, bend over? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, right there. That's the agenda they push, man. They push the weirdest shit, man. You know, he gave DJ Envy a cast of his ass. Who does that? That's too friendly. You don't do that for a woman or a man. A cast of your ass. You know what I'm saying? Now he's looking at that cast of Charlemagne's ass in his house. Come on. Come on, man. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm just going to say it like that. These guys are weird as fuck, man. You know, like they always got particular guests on the show that's detrimental to the community. Dr. Umar Johnson. This man's been having a school for four or five years. Haven't did anything with it. Why y'all ain't got the black man on that actually opened up the school? Because plenty of black men have done it. I do believe LeBron James has done it. As well as regular black men have opened up schools. But y'all get the guy on there who hasn't opened up the school, who's only asking for money, and he's talking pan-Africanism. Black man need to marry a black woman. Why? Why? Man needs to marry a woman that he considers his. Because just like Brother Fatir Muhammad said, once we get involved, that white lady, those kids are black. Those kids are black now. So he's not even thinking like that. Those kids are black now. Like Brother Fatir Muhammad said, we can wipe the white man off the face of the earth with our spine. Hey, y'all tell me how y'all feel about this particular story in the comment section. I'll be back later with more news and commentary. Peace. Members with a Z, M-O-P.